Well, I, I'm subdued because I don't actually like uh, the fact that we're having to, 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 to go through this process. Um, I mean, I submitted my uh, letter of no confidence in the Prime Minister and I voted accordingly earlier on today. So I've been consistent in that. And I did so with some sadness uh, because these things are, are never helpful uh, for us trying to, 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 to move the country forward. But equally, I stand by my view that the Prime Minister's credibility and the country's trust in him uh, is so damaged mm. that I don't think he is capable of recovering that. And nothing I've heard today changes that. But I'm always wary of numbers, uh, be they on the high or the low side. Uh, so I'll, I'll wait for the result when it comes out. Um, but uh, my concern is this, uh, that uh, the Conservative Party is going to have to do an awful lot in the coming months uh, to rebuild trust we're asking people to take some really tough decisions mm. uh, and you've got to take the country with you on that. And that's why what has happened, in my judgment, was so damaging because the suggestion that you ask people to take tough, tough decisions but don't abide by them themselves yeah. and if you're not absolutely straight with the country uh, about even small things as much as the big ones, that erodes the trust. Um, uh, the possibility is, of course, that we get a situation where the Prime Minister indeed uh, wins. Um, incumbent Prime Ministers uh, have a, an inbuilt advantage uh, both in the fact of patronage, uh, the fact that they are the incumbent, and their timing to a degree that they have over the time of the vote uh, as well. Yeah, they, uh, ha they have those powers, they, they have the patronage, the power to offer people mm. appointments in the government, and government whips have the habit, if not the anything else, of, of twisting people's arm. I'm assuming in your case, Bob, everyone knows where you stand. No one's trying to twist your arm it, or offer you, offer you a, 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 a shiny job. Uh, there's been remarkable silence on that front, uh, and I sort of take that as a sort of compliment that I was up front with them where I stood, uh, and I'm happy to uh, uh, to stick with the job that I'm doing as chairman of a, of a select committee. Uh, we, thanks, you, you're very clear, and have been for a while, you, you believe with great regret, I absolutely acknowledge that, the Prime Minister has become a liability. When you talk to your colleagues, you take the opposite view, who mean to stand by the Prime Minister this evening. They're looking at the same opinion polls that you are. How do they, how do they present that, that position? How do they, you know, in whatever spirit, how do they dispute your analysis? I, I think some uh, genuinely think that things can be turned around. They'll point to, to, to past precedents where uh, Prime Ministers have bounced back from being in a bad way. I'm afraid the precedents can equally go the other way. Uh, and in truth, uh, a lesser Prime Minister has a thumping majority. All history suggests that a confidence vote sooner or later uh, leads to their departure. It's the question of how long uh, that takes. And I'm sure there are different reactions in different parts of the country. But equally, uh, those who are, uh, have expressed concern about the Prime Minister, as you know, come from all parts of the country, um, from all uh, the traditions and wings within the Conservative yes. Party, and from all the intakes. Uh, and that's the unusual. This is not a factional thing. Uh, at all, but this is like a Lucy, universal Lucy concern. Can I ask you, Bob, uh, what trends in the polls um, are worrying you most? Something that's really interested me and a read across from what's happened in Australia, where Scott Morrison, mm. Conservative Prime Minister, has just been ousted, is that he lost the women's vote. And there's now mm. um, pollsters looking into that loss of confidence, particularly among female voters. Is that something you've picked up in your constituency? Well, yes, to a degree. I think that's right, Lucy. And it's one of the things that I referred to when I put my statement out in this way. Uh, I was influenced, obviously, by uh, what was uh, in my email, um, by my own assessment, ultimately, because it's my decision uh, and no one else's. But I also took on board uh, the feedback I got when I was canvassing in my constituency in the elections, the local elections. You know, this is a prosperous London suburb uh, where people were turning against the Conservative Party. And these were traditional Conservative pa voters. Why? Because they sort of believe in the rules. Uh, they believe in playing straight with people. Uh, and also, uh, you're right, uh, it's an area where we've got lots of middle-class, younger, professional uh, men and women coming along, women in particular. Uh, and it's not unlike, I suppose, some of those Sydney and Melbourne suburbs uh, mm. that were drifting away from the Liber Liberal Party. That, and we, we lose that at our peril. That doesn't sound like a strain of opinion which is easily susceptible to being won back. No. And even if it is possible to win these voters back, what are the tools in the Prime Minister's box that's going to allow him to, to do that? In the, in the, in the teeth mm. of a powerful gale in the form of the cost of living crisis, what could he do? Well, in my assessment, it is that there's nothing that he himself can do. And that's why, uh, even if he wins tonight, I think he needs to reflect very carefully on that. I believe these are people who would, would want to stick with the Conservative Party if we can give them a reason. But to do that, I'm afraid, we have to have a change of leadership. And can I ask the question from the other direction? I mean, I think the, my understanding is the Prime Minister's intimated to colleagues that he's not going to go if he wins by one vote. Uh, what can critics and rebels do to drag him from office if he refuses to go despite being so badly wounded? Well, I think what we've then got to do is, first of all, see what happens and let, let's not 
prejudge anything uh, at the moment, Lucy, um, uh, and see how he actually responds. I mean, words said in the, if you like, on, on the, the, the field of the battle, on the day of the battle, uh, can be very different to how people then react afterwards. So yes. I, I don't take uh, every, everything at face value in that regard. But the truth is, um, rebuilding trust is immensely hard. Uh, and uh, we'd all want to see and would want, of course, to ensure uh, that efforts, genuine efforts are made to rebuild trust. But it mm -hmm. may be you've got to a stage where that can't be done. Yeah, yeah. I look, um, in the Cabinet, there's a, a pretty uniform chorus of approval for the Prime Minister, which is no surprise. That's what happens in, at, at a point of crisis like this. It doesn't mean that a lot of them, a fair number of, of those Cabinet Ministers, don't secretly cherish the idea of becoming our next Prime Minister. While we're having this conversation, maybe not at this precise moment, but in this, this climate of this of this turbulent time, have you been observing, have you been observing different camps manoeuvring, buttering up different groups of MPs, trying to say the right thing in the right ear, ready for the time comes when there would be a vacancy? That's going on behind the scenes, isn't it, Bob? I've no doubt it, it is. It always does in these regards. I can't say it's uh, people have been greatly approaching me. Perhaps I'm... Uh, um, uh, getting old now and you know, been, in, mm. been around the place a long time, um, I think they know where I stand on, on these things. Well, what I do think, and it, it's a slightly broader point, is this. Um, uh, it's really important uh, that any leader of the Conservative Party picks a team uh, which is representative of the whole of the party. Yes. Uh, and there's an awful lot of talent uh, within the Conservative Party uh, which has, for one reason or another, been neglected yes. uh, in the current government. Yes. Uh, and uh, anyone be it Boris or anyone else who wants to rebuild uh, uh, confidence across the party, and yes. I think in the country, has actually to have a much more broad-based well, team than we've seen so far. If you're waiting for, you wait for the, surely, if you're waiting for the Prime Minister to, to do that kind of reconstruction, to admit more more liberal Conservatives into the into the Cabinet, maybe more pro-European leaning, leaning Conservatives into the Cabinet, well, surely the advice to you, Bob, is don't hold your breath, because that's not going to happen. Well... I think it's always right to put on a record what I think will be the thing that should happen. And what uh, does happen, I think, may then determine uh, how things play out thereafter. Right. I mean, let me ask you this. You want to see Boris Johnson gone. You are forthright and honest about that. Is it your view now? Because we've no idea what would happen if the Prime Minister were to be defrenestrated uh, this evening. Is it your view that any alternative leader, any next Prime Minister, would be better than the one we've got? Well, uh, the way I put it this way, it's slightly different, Jean, if I might, is this, um, that traditionally the Conservatives ha have frequently chose, uh, changed leaders at a time when there wasn't an obvious front-runner, uh, and the person who wins mm. is seldom the front-runner. Yes. The most obvious example is there was unease uh, with Ted Heath uh, after the 74 uh, defeats. Um, nobody saw Margaret Thatcher sure. as the likely contender. Well, it didn't work out too badly for the party. That's an interesting answer, but it wasn't quite my question. My, my, it was, I was asking you more straightforwardly, do you view that anyone would be better than Boris Johnson? Well, your view of him is sunk to the point where that may be your view. Is it your view? I, I, Any, I, I, I'm sure Boris. there are some people in the Conservative Party uh, who I probably would not uh, be uh, advocating to have as Prime Minister. I don't think they're likely to be runners and riders Among those anyway. who are, Bob. Among those who are likely to run. What am I going to, again, put it this way, John, is that there are a number of very talented people in the Cabinet... There are a number of very talented ministers outside the cabinet. There are a number of form ta very talented former ministers around, all of whom I believe uh, may be better placed to regain the trust that I want the Conservative Party to regain with the country. Boom.